remove the finger setting. And now... Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. This thing today, you can play as a solo in your band on stage, it's that good. Um, or as a piece in itself, at home. Now, usually I waste your time in my lessons, I know that. But this time, please watch my entire lesson because I explain a couple of advanced concepts there and also explain to you why some pro techniques cannot be really taught in a tutorial. Go watch it. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, helps my channel to grow. Now, to Blues Infinity and beyond. Uh, I give you the luxury treatment today with the notes on screen. Why? Because there are some things where this really um, is helpful to show you the sheet music. Don't complain if it's not going to be like that forever. Uh, just this one. And um, let's go straight at the bacon, as we say in Germany. We have... Um it starts with this uh, catchy line, which for the first chorus I keep up and I just change the, uh, the lower bit. So it has a quite catchy melodic entry, the solo. And the rhythmic difficulty here is already in the beginning. You see we have a and four, two, and one, and two, two, and three, and four, two, and one, and. So this is again, as uh, so often, one, and two, two, and three, and four two and yeah it's uh every second time it's this second of the triplet as you can also see in the sheet music that's why it's there now the difficulty is here uh if you play this fast that uh you you play this uh um, to f get these jumps in at tempo you know yeah but uh, the trick is always to uh, practice, of course. <laughs> it's a secret trick. You have to practice and then you get better. Don't tell anybody, anybody. Uh, to f look forward to what you're playing. Um, when you're here, you're already looking at this bit here. And then it's not that hard. You start slowly. Um, and we go to the next uh, bit, which is... Uh, same again. And uh, the lower bit now is different. Yeah. This is the same, the catchy thing at the beginning. I would start my solo like this, you know, with a kind of m melodic thing with a little theme on top. And then the next chorus, was, I hammer it away until they stop breathing. So, um, bum, 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 bum. yeah, again and now. And this is also something new for you. Now, how can you get down? without having too few fingers. You could grow more fingers or have the genetic disposition, or I, I suggest the easier version is you change the finger setting. And usually we go down, you know, this the uh, we call the German main variation. 
as everybody knows, Berlin uh, is the birthplace of the blues. Now here we do it different. We change the finger setting so we can get down here and then finger setting. So when you learn this, you learn this together, together with the finger setting. That's what the German teacher recommends to you. Um, but otherwise you're screwed and you know what that means. And again, finger setting and you keep the finger setting at all times. And here already we see a little bit of professionalism. One, and we have these three 16s, triplets, as you can see. So the landing space is here. And that's a good anchor. What you do in the middle in the meantime is up to you. But here you meet the, please have a date with the E, G, okay? So you, you should practice these, uh, these lines that they, they sound fluffy and fluent and don't interrupt the groove. Practice this. Yeah, bop, date, date. Okay, and then. And then you connect the, uh, the, the other bit, like you walk away from the date. Yeah, you ever did that? Date and you run away. And then you do it together. And then you do the tremolo. And we must move on. There's a lot to do. Um, and I have to do the dishes. So I cannot stay. Oh, what is there, Christian? Uh, if you have the sheet music and this is still on the E flat, that's wrong. It should be the D, uh, it should be the E. Uh, heh, that's right. Oh, you swipe it again. Now, and we have again the the rhythm bit. One, and now we take a, a chunk of fingers. Three. Sounds nice and clashy. And you have. Yeah, it's just variation. Uh, we play, have this catchy line and we do three variations below that. That's the trick. The elements themselves, you know all of them. You know this one, you know this, uh, you know the swipes, you know the roads, and you know the blue scale. So um, now let me just uh, explain to you what differentiates the medium or the beginner's blues piano player from a half god <coughs> like myself is, of course, I played all these uh, elements many, many more times uh, than the average. <laughs> Uh, piano player, so I can, I am faster in uh, putting different things together. You know this, you know this, and you know the blue scale, and yet you would not come up with a quick solution to tie them in different ways, and I would. Yeah, or uh, You see, that's the basically different, the I'm faster. Faster with combinations, and so my solo might actually sound more interesting than some of yours. Uh, I'm not. I'm not like full of uh, full of myself, but that's basically the, the description of a me, uh, medium uh, uh, to, from lower level to higher level in improvisation. You're faster to combine combine stuff and still stay in the groove. Now, what do we have here? Um, what do we have here? And then um, we don't even have to look at that. You know, there's a slow replay. Slow play coming after my lesson where you can practice at half the tempo so we focus on the hard bits and here's now bar number 13 I just move the move the uh, the cursor there now you see something we um and this is also a little bit more professional than what I usually teach you like uh, we have the C and now comes the last two G bars of the first chorus. And this goes like this. Yeah. And here we have, in fast, these four notes, they, uh, in fast, a, yeah. Here. So you gotta practice this, stay easy on the, on the, on the, uh, don't play, don't dig too deep into the ground of the key, then uh, you 
your fingers will dig into the uh, earth and not sound light anymore. Not like... Yeah? Okay, so... And our... Of course, you, you know all this with the... Our turn-on was always chromatically from the E-flat 7 to the D7 and then we start the first chorus. Now, now we add a little fuel to the petrol. And here we have old friends, of course, again, everything is here, old friends. Subscribe to my channel, then you know all the elements cause I teach with system, which is not true. I, I'm a musician. What do I know about systematic? Okay, but um, subscribe, we, we, I teach you all these elements you need for a great blues piano and it's a one-stop on YouTube. Okay, now we have this. A wonderful little line with many old friends. Of course, this is like Uncle Richard. This is so familiar. And now, trick, finger setting again, I recommend here. You take this one, whatever, however you play this. Here you take the third finger on da C here because we want to go down finger setting is so important that you go that you get through with like as if you're an oil machine here ba, ba, finger setting here this is so important finger setting you see and, and then we have ah and now we are coming okay here's a little bit of real of of the real stuff like um, bar number 17 and that is this bit hold on hold on ah yeah 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 do you see these the horror in black the horror in black is these um these three um hey what's that the three 30 second notes. Is it called 30 second notes? Whatever it's called, call them Snickers if you fancy. So we have this. And this is the reason, this is the reason why blues cannot be really taken down into sheet music like classical music, like uh, lullabies, like uh, whatever, because it's dirty. It's, uh, it's not on the one, but it's close to the one, and we have we have uh, we have three notes on the short sixteenths, on the long sixteenth. Sorry, one and two, and we have the date with the E again. Always the E and the G seem to like each other. Yeah, maybe we should you know bring them together later on. For now, they have to split. Uh, again after the next note so but let's have a look and this is the thing you cannot take down this super precisely it's always a matter of listening how it's played so that's why the main thing is listen and look how I'm doing it and will you will never count this if you count this I ban you and your family and your friends and the friends of your friends from my channel <laughs> as if they were here right okay so one and so you have to practice this and think like there's an eagle coming, flying, he's in the air, but he knows exactly that the that he has to he has a date with E, Eva, Eva, the eagle and Eva. No, it's G. It's a uh, it's uh, what is it was a name with G, whatever. So one and 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 the typical mistake here is by amateurs they do. Um, they make the left hand fit the right hand and without re realizing they look at the left hand oh oh this is difficult stuff so uh, but now they play listen yeah. again i play like an amateur yeah i managed that was good while they did not realize they were cheating eva was cheating typical Typical. Eva was cheating. It's always the women who cheat, as we know. Um, it's coming to uh, coming too early. Like so, made this fit this, and that's wrong. So you have to you have to do this with metronome. Record and listen while you are playing. <coughs> like really, that at any rate, this is not coming prematurely. 
it's easy. Okay, this is a typical professional blues thing on the end, not coming on the uh, not coming on the beat. Here, practice this. Or even with four notes. Or with five. No, stop that. But uh, but um, Otis Span would do that with no hesitation. Like he would play like. be like the ultra step which I cannot teach you because um, you would click away it uh, you would uh, it would frustrate you you but you can approach it like with little elements like this and come closer but if I did like uh, I'll show you later on a couple of examples that are unteachable but uh, that you have to approach yourself let me uh, just quickly interrupt to present you my two volumes of How to Improvise Blues Piano. I follow the great method by Hal Crook, the greatest improvising teacher there ever was, uh, with a target-oriented approach. In my two volumes, I break down improvisation into uh, rhythmic variations, melodic variations, and combining of licks and blues elements. It's very effective. I give you loads of examples which is necessary to inspire you for your own improvisation. Please go and buy that. Um, they're out just now and now let's go on they're linked in the description box try them let's go on okay now we have this uh, uh, we are in C that's co compared to that before that's easy with the two sixteens in the middle uh, that's old old stuff um, bum, ba, la, bum, bum. and here we have we have that the same rhythm uh, the, the same pattern as in the beginning you remember one and, two, 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 two. and here we have it again with and it's a wonderful uh, blue sound that does a lot of yeah um, is it up here yeah 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 again same you learn it once Beautiful working together. And so on. Now, and then we have on the D, we have ah, we have an old friend again, our beautiful. Let's have a look at this, uh, although many of you know that already because you are subscribers. You know how to save your uh, valuable lifetime. Later, when you are... <laughs> no, <that's... laughs> I was just about to say, like, later when you're, you're on your deathbed, uh, uh, you might say, oh, had I just stayed with Christian, I would have had a couple of more years to, li to live because he would have saved me so much lifetime. But it's a little bit tasty, I apologize, but my, sometimes my humor gets a bit dark. Okay. Here. And, d d hold on. Where am I? Ah. Okay, now we have this. Now where the cursor is here, you see. And, this, and you know this one, eh? Uh, hold on. Now I've got it. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of focus again. Here, one, two, and two, two, and, and here I played two notes. Was not on purpose, but why not? It's dirty blues, and then triplets. So this is a beautiful um, old school dominant line. That's, that's easy. You know, we have to, I'm sorry, but I know you must be a little bit advanced and you can do put your, uh, the rest together. Now we have a very typical blues sound. And now I told you all the secrets uh, and now you, you know how, you, how to do it. Here is this sound. 
this is really what wherever you go into a good piano tutorial or performance or concert the the uh, blues the pianist will play something like this on here and we have this one wonderful with the fifth and the fourth has a clashing sound which is great if you play with a band and you have to get through all the other annoying instruments like the guitarist um, sometimes the singer is singing and you of course you have to cut through the singer with your solo I, use, I love to play my solos while the singer is singing you know I always want to be the best at any moment so and this cuts through beautifully one and here one and In, in slow, it's a little bit harder than because you know you have to disperse the spread these um, the three triplets on the longer note. One and da -ka -da -ka. Da -ka -da -ka. the e is um, just say something like this. I would also like. Da -ka -da -ka. There is probably a word we could use, one of those percussion words, um, like, uh, um, uh, what was it, um, like a word that has three syllables, um, sentimental, uh, this is sentimental, 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 and you have it, it's an old uh, drama trick um, to verbalize rhythms and this way uh, they're much easier to learn because it makes sense to put a word over it. Okay, now, and now, ah, yes, now I have uh, again something that is also popular and beautiful. It's uh, input in the middle. You know, again, we come from we come from here, and we put this little uh, butterfly kind of white butterfly. It has to be light as a butterfly, otherwise you get stuck again. Um, and then it's a beautiful sound. Uh, everybody's playing it. Johnny Johnson, uh, Bill Clinton, everybody. So one, yeah, you get it. One again. Practice this separately, folks. And when you when you feel it groove, then you did it right. Record yourself. That's a good, uh, always a good idea. This is also easy, 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 easy. Well, relatively easy. But here, okay. Here now, here is a decisive step. Sit down, please. Uh, send the kids out of the room. Because uh, real blues, I mean, real uh, blues piano has some elements that are played f totally freely, no counting, no taking down in in, in uh, possible in sheet music. So if you f don't find it in books or if you find it in transcriptions, you will just stop there and leave the room and burn the sheet music. Uh, because it's something like this. Okay, I play the left hand. Now let's do the right hand. You heard it, huh? You heard also like this. Yeah? And this is hard. This is hard. I will do a tutorial on this very soon uh, uh, about playing these free figures. It's more, it's not like a single note, but it's more like a, 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 a circle. A circle. So, and you have to practice, uh, stay close to the keys. Uh, I always uh, tell my students to stay close to the where they actually the... Um, the uh, note makes a sound on acoustic pianos as well as on digital pianos. So you have to feel and now, and now you think of the circle. And here, here where the circle begins. So it's a circular movement here. And then it takes a while until uh, until you can play it. And the uh, the. The notation here, if I, you would have to invent a new notation, and it would sound like play this as often as possible. Yeah, there's no other way to notate it, like whatever you play, 
play it as often as possible. And that's what they do, as often as possible. And when, when the next note is here, just stop. Same, these are, this is a typical blues sound, but it's hard and uh, students get frustrated, so you don't find it in tutorials. I make an exception here, please applaud me. You see, it's also, a, um, or this. This is the easier version, or this. But again, play as often as possible, not like, or. This is easy, because it's in the beat, but this. Whatever, okay, you get my message. I don't have to show up, although I love to. So, and here I suggest in the sheet music, I su uh, suggest a solution. You play it like, yeah, instead of. No, it's not. It's not right in the sheet music. Uh, I play. It. Don't listen. Uh, listen to the sheet music. Play, 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 play it like this. I did there. I did four even of uh, sixteenths. Like, but this is harder. So you play, and then you go on. Okay, again. And this you do as one swoop. Finish it before Eva strikes again. Okay. Also sounds good. It's just not that. Yeah, but it also sounds good. So don't feel discriminated. Okay, so uh, and then the next uh, is just going down as we um, have the whole time. And then we have and the last difficulty we come, uh, we finish the whole thing now uh, is on D now one. Yeah, the cursor is ready here on the dominant. Okay. One and two and three and yeah, you see it's four and if you play this slowly, it's impossible. But if you listen to it fast, it's like this. Yeah, but slowly it's really hard. Uh, now play this four. Uh, because this one is dotted, so that's impossible. So you have to do a little bit of speed. Now and we come to the end, and then of course we have this wonderful. Uh, now if you can play this, this is a cool professional finishing chord. But you see, you need kind of kind of a bear bear paw or a dinosaur's paw. Uh, of course, we have the uh, seven here, the major third, the fifth. Uh, what else did I put in the cake? Uh, of the G, I mean. Um, ah, yeah, I put this this here. Ah, yeah, that's a beautiful full chord. But before you get uh, you get a sore throat or what is it called? What you have in your hands? A tendus here, like this is the sore throat. No, it's a tendonitis, tendonitis, whatever. Like uh, uh, strained uh, tendons here. You 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 don't do it, or you just practice it. For a couple of seconds and then you come back and then you come back and relax otherwise you just play you just do this one g6 yeah because this might be your problem here but if you want practice, and i just do it why can i do it so fast because i i've done it a lot so you can take your time and if you manage to play this please write to me and I will congratulate you after I listen to it. Okay, you can post it if you like it. Uh, if you uh, post it under this video, and um, I will listen to it and and give you my honest opinion. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. No, you want. You want. Now here after this is coming the slow replay, 50% uh, speed, and then you can learn all the rest. Go buy my sheet music, people. Uh, that's how I make this channel possible. All the uh, MIDI file is great for this kind of music too. Bye from Berlin. Thanks for watching.